Hey guys, so um, I got a few albums recently and I thought I would do a bit of a haul video because I haven't really had a chance to do any like proper videos and and also because I don't really feel I do that with my channel anymore because by the time I get albums these days there's always a gazillion unboxings and stuff anyway so I'd much rather wait to do them in like one video rather than lots of little ones. Um, they're all girl groups. Um, there's been some really amazing girl groups um, coming back recently and um, yeah, I'm going to share them with you. Um, and obviously you guys, if you're subscribed to my channel you have been before, you will know that one of my um, ultimate girl groups, Girls' Generation, came back sort of recently um, with this thing, this Kino crap. <laughs> I'm calling the Kino crap, not the comeback crap, but why SM? So before I get into the frustrations, I mean, obviously I'm very excited that at least half of Girls' Generation are still kind of about and we're still getting something from these amazing girls. But I am really hopeful that at some point in the future we'll get a full group come back. I don't really know how that's going to work, but it would be very awesome. But these girls have been around for the longest time. They are the queens of K-pop and they are the group that have inspired groups like Twice and all the you know all the rest of the girl groups you know these are the queens they're the ones that came before they deserve the utmost love and respect and they only get this abomination of a thing this kino i just i don't understand the concept i just it's stupid so if you're unfamiliar with the kino which i am it basically plugs into your phone or your tablet or i don't even know um I've tried to use it on mine and it doesn't do anything, so I'm just like, but I wanted to support them, so. But it did come with some cards, but I really hate this SM. Why? They deserved, like, so much more than this stupid thing. Um, I did really enjoy this um, comeback a great deal. I thought it was, um, it was really awesome. Um, a little touch. So, <laughs> yeah, I am, I am happy because it's a really good comeback. Yeah, I'll just show you the cards. Um, and I really love the styling. Let's see if we have Taeyeon. It's really nice to have, um, like, not solo stuff. I see that um, Yuri is having a solo album that's just been released. I haven't bought that yet, but here we go, Yuna. Um, I will be getting that. It's just, obviously, money's a bit tight. My queen, my ultimate female, Hyoyeon, along with Minji from 21, obviously. Uh, these cards are super pretty, by the way, and sunny. And I really do love um, Yuri's stuff. She's always kind of been one of my um, favourite members of Girls' Generation, so I'm really happy she's got something. Oh, and then these are, you get, I, th I think you get two random cards. I got two random cards, so I got my fucking queen, Hyoyeon, which I'm very excited about, and Sunny Bunny. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm annoyed because, obviously... As a as a big so on myself, I, I felt like they deserved more, and I'm fairly certain I'm I'm not on my own when I say that. I didn't watch any unboxings of this because I didn't really see the point, um, because I don't really <sighs> I can't even get this back in. There, there we go. Um, I'm not even going to try and get the cards back in there. I'll do that off camera because no one needs to see that embarrassment. But yes, I did get that one in case anyone was notice noticing that obviously I hadn't uploaded anything about it. <laughs> but I was like, at first I was like, I don't really want to buy a Kino album. I bought a Kino album before Girls' Day and yeah, I don't even think it was a Kino album. I think it was a Kino album, but anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm really not impressed with that. I don't understand why they couldn't just get an album but hey there we go and then one of my favorite newer girl groups came out recently Dreamcatcher yay um and oh, I love these girls so freaking much if you are not standing Dreamcatcher there is something seriously wrong with you their music is so good and, and I'm really impressed with the packaging for these albums as well they're a bit bigger and uh, than their previous ones and they've got like a clear sleeve and oh, everything is just super pretty um it is in this annoying box which i have a feeling i'm going to probably rip at some point um but yeah i really love these girls i was fortunate enough to see them back in february this year when they came to london so uh, they are definitely a a group that 
I am going to be standing and I love I love the change in in what they're doing but it's still the same I love Han Dong's hair so freaking cute um but yeah I just I love the styling of Dreamcatcher and I really enjoyed this uh, little mini album I really hope they can do like a full album soon because that would be amazing um oh, damn it. Uh, my bias are Danny, Sion, Sua, all of them. <laughs> Probably Danny, to be fair. But then I do love Sua and Sion as well, so I'm not quite sure. Um, I really loved this photo book. This is my favourite photo book. Um, oh, gosh. So this is their second comeback this year, because they had one, um, like, in April. Um, although it came with stickers and stuff, which... I don't understand why they put stickers in there because no one's going to actually use them. But yeah, I really love this photo book so much. It's so pretty. I think the beginning of the photo book is like very not typical kind of styling. Yuhan just is beautiful. Love it so much. I do feel really fortunate that I was able to see them because I, I mean, they. They were with my music taste, so it's one of those kind of like fan vote kind of things. But you know, I don't, I doubt very much that they'll come back to the UK. Although I would love to see them again. I just attempt to get this all back into the box without crashing it. So I really love this new packaging, but I just feel like I am probably going to eventually rip that because it's not the strongest. Not going to lie. But yes, I have that. Um, as for my photo cards, I got these two free support from K Town for you. So yeah, and then um, for my cards, so I got Sua, which I'm happy with. Uh, Gahin, Gaon. I never know how to pronounce her name. She's the the Macne, so it's Gaon. Oh, I pronounce it so badly. Uh, Yukon, sorry about my mispronunciation. Another Stua, that's awesome. And two Stuas. Uh, Chiu. And Handong. Handong loves me, she always comes to me, but I love this card. Look at her hair, super, super cute. So, so yes, I'm happy with my cards. No Danny, but you know, eh, whatever. Um, so yeah, so that's all my kind of pulls and everything from the album and from this one. And then the last one that I kind of want to talk about, and I already know I'm like eight minutes in, and I'm very sorry, but uh, this one's a little bit of an older album. It came out earlier in the year, and it is Idol from Cube. And um, a quick kind of like update as to why this took me so long. I am not a big fan of Cube Entertainment. I mean, I... I know that nobody really is a big fan of Cube Entertainment at the moment with the whole Hyuna and Edorn thing that happened, which is just ridiculous and stupid. Um, but I'm not a big fan of Cube because of 4 Minute, because I loved 4 Minute so much. I loved Beast as well back in the day, and allowing both those groups to disband and move apart. And I mean, I know um, Highlight is Beast and everything now, but allowing that to happen and messing about with things and then disbanding for a minute was really like the thing that pissed me off the most like oh i never understand that at all so i really didn't like that i gave clc a chance um i really enjoyed their first couple of um releases and then they added members and kept changing the concepts and then when hobgoblin came out that really was the final straw for me because that sounded like a four minute song um, and Pentagon, who I enjoyed their comeback, but I'm not a big fan of them now. Uh, and that's my own personal preference. Um, and it's not anything that Cube has done, but obviously the stuff with Edorn is just ridiculous and Cube just needs to sort this shit out. So I really hope that these girls are going to be okay on Cube. <laughs> we say that about like YG and SM and stuff, but Cube really do need to keep these ones because they are super popular and I really, really enjoy them. So... When they first made their debut, I was like, uh, I didn't want to buy it then because I didn't want to, like, be let down. But when Han came out, I really love that song. It's one of my favourite songs of the year. And also, um, Soyeon is just, like, amazing. It's definitely my bias. I absolutely love her to pieces. Um, I didn't see her in Produce 101 or Unpretty Rap Star because I don't watch reality stuff. I literally fell in love with her just based on this debut. So, 
um yeah i'm very very much in love with this young lady she's very very talented um and then as for the stuff that i pulled so i pulled a uh, shewers like passport photo card thing uh sujin stickers Sorry, got interrupted. Uh, Sujin stickers, and then I also got Sujin's um, card. I generally feel Sujin might be in my like bias wrecker, but then ugh, I think they might all be in my bias wreckers because they're all adorable. I don't know, maybe Yuki as well. Yuki is like literally just the cutest little bean on the face of the earth. Oh my god! So yeah, they're all gorgeous. Um, but then I also, because I love Soyeon so much, I ended up buying her cards really cheaply actually. So. Um, so we've got both of Soyeon's cards as well. Uh, I think I'm going to be trash for this girl. So yeah, over the years, I've really not picked up that many. Actually, Dreamcatcher and Now Idol and then Stray Kids are really the only groups in the last couple of years I've actually stand. So yes, but I'm really happy with all my uh, polls. Uh, I apologise uh, again for my uh, pronunciation. I'm literally... It's the day before, guys. The day before I go to London tomorrow... And then the day after, I get to see a group that I have stand since their debut for five freaking years. My Bangtown Boys, my BTS. <sighs> my God, I'm going to be in the same room as them. Um, I'm so freaking excited and I'm so happy for European armies to finally get to see them and be recognised. I am going to lose my shit. So if I do survive that... Um, I've got a few days in London because it's my sister's birthday the day after as well, so we're doing some stuff for that. Um, so yeah, I'll try and film as much as I can and do a vlog. It might be lots of different videos. I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to film yet. But yeah, if I do survive, <laughs> which I might not, um, or if I don't get arrested for stealing sugar, um, we shall see. But uh, I have been told I have to do that, so I will try my best, girl. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My next one will be BTS related um, and I know I still have a BTS related um, giveaway that will be next week sometime. Might be later this week, I'm not quite sure but I've had quite a lot of um, comments uh, but not for many people I know so I think it's going to be fairly easy to pick a winner. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, fingers crossed. Ciao!